And we start tonight with Fox 40's Rowena Shaddix, who's live in Colfax, where some people had to spend their night along I-80 Row. Ashley, that's right. It happened starting last night when the roadway was closed down in Applegate, which is about eight miles from this location. Now behind me, this is the Caltrans closure for I-80 eastbound all the way to the state line. People have been lined up here thinking that the freeway would reopen sometime tonight, but I'm told CHP cleared the way, telling drivers that this was just not going to happen tonight. The snow is coming down. It's not the summit you're looking at, and it's not even Blue Canyon. It's dumping hard at the 2400 foot elevation in Colfax. Interstate 80 shut down last night and will remain closed through tomorrow morning when Caltrans can reassess road conditions. The plump flakes began falling hours earlier. We're here in Applegate where the snow is coming down pretty steadily and a couple of truck drivers just stopped and realized that they will be spending the night here tonight, but there are already a number of truckers that have been here since last night. This trucker just wants to make his delivery so he can get back home to his family in New York. I go to Michigan and I want to spend the new year with my family. And my mom even came to visit us, but I couldn't go to meet her, you know, because even tonight I will stay here. As truckers kept warm inside their big rigs. Further up the road, Caltrans shut down the freeway to traffic. Just at the 3,000 foot level, snow covered both lanes of the closed freeway as fresh powder blanketed the sides of the road and covered up the towering trees. We went off the freeway and took the frontage roads and then just snuck past. This family found a way around the road closure to get to a rest stop where they marveled at all the beauty. So what do you think? I love it's it. A lot. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. It's a lot of fun. We brought our two dogs for the, for the, the trip. Mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the mom. The more. The more snow, the better. They say they didn't get their fill of skiing all of last weekend, so they're back for more. Another family, this one from San Mateo, also found a way to get around the road closure so brothers Mateo and Jason could work on building a snowman as their little sister stomped the crunchy snow for the first time. They all say it was well worth the effort to get there. Now it was time to safely head home. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Now, a Caltrans worker who has lived in the area for decades says he hasn't seen snow like this, this low in Colfax for 25 years. You could just imagine lots of people excited out here. Again, Caltrans says that they will reassess how much snow there is in the morning, but more than likely they think they may be reopening them by Tuesday morning. So not anytime soon, Ashley. Reporting live here from Colfax, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News. Ro, thank you.